Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And the last one that is organ system level of organization where organs group together to form organ system. That means here the organs work in coordination with each other. So they perform their own job and they also maintain a synchronization with the other organs. For example, if I take the example of digestive system, uh, the different organs which are involved in the digestive system have to work in coordination with each other. So whosoever job comes first, for example, whenever you eat food, that ingestion happens through mouth. So mouth has to perform its job first. Then it goes through the esophagus, that is the food pipe, and then it reaches the stomach. So the food pipe should, should the timing has to be maintained. So now if the food pipe starts doing its job before, even before the food is being taken in by the mouth, so do you think that the digestive system will function properly? No. Right? So every organ has to work in synchronization or in coordination with the other organs. Only then they can form a good organ system. So organ systems are specialized to perform specific physiological function. So what do I mean by physiological function? So physiological is basically derived from the word physiology and physiology is again a branch of biology where we study the functions of organisms organ system i mean we study the functions of different organs we try to study the different organ systems which are present in an organism like digestive system circulatory system respiratory system excretory system because these are some of the life processes without which that organism cannot live so these physiological functions need to continue inside the body only then that organism will be alive Right? So these organ systems will help, each organ system will perform its own specific function like the excretory system will not help in digestion. Right? So it has to help in removing the waste products from your body. Similarly, each system be it respiratory or circulatory or digestive, they will perform their own physiological function. So let us look at example where we see organ system level of organization that is annelids arthropods so here i am not telling you what are annelids what are arthropods because we, we will talk about that later as we talk about each of them one by one so annelids basically would include the flat worms when i talk about uh, the uh, arthropods they include the insects mollusks would include organisms like uh, octopus echinoderms will again include the uh, marine animals and chordates would include organisms like us. So these are some of the phyla which all belong to the organ system level of organization. So now did you get an idea that how this level of organization actually help in classifying? So different organisms with different levels of organization were put into different groups. So this was one parameter of classification. But since the variety is so huge that only one uh, parameter will actually not help you to group organisms properly because if that was the case then all these annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, chordates, everything will come into one group because they all belong to the same level of organization. So again inside that group you will have a huge variety. So that is why a few more parameters were taken into consideration. Okay, so now let us look at an example of organ system. Let us look, take the examples of different organ systems which are present in the human body because that will actually give you an idea of organ system. Digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system, circulatory system and excretory system. These are five important systems which, which helps us understand the organ system concept. Now, if you look at any of these systems, how are the systems composed of? They are made up of different organs. And each organ is very, very specialized to perform a specific task. Right? So, when I say organ system level of organization, that means that particular organism has cells, they have tissues, they have organs, they have organ systems. 
Now, it is not necessary that every animal will have same type of organ system. For example, if you take the example of respiratory system. Respiratory system in human beings and respiratory system in fishes might be very different. But both of them will have a respiratory system. Okay. So, now let us look at the organ systems in different animals. Let us suppose if I talk about digestive system. Now, how the organ systems can be different in different animals. Just now I was telling, right, it is not necessary that all organisms will have similar type of organ system. So, again, that might vary from animal to animal. Let us <coughs> take the example of digestive system. Now, many organisms will have an incomplete digestive system. Now, what do I mean by incomplete digestive system? Let us have a look. A digestive cavity with one opening to the outside. Now, when I talk of digestive system, I think the best example with which you can relate thing is our own digestive system. So, our own digestive system, how many openings do we have to the outside? Two openings. One is for ingestion, that is mouth. So, mouth opens to the exterior. So, we can put food inside through the mouth. So, mouth is one opening. What is the other opening? That is anus through which the undigested food particle is sent out of the body. So, ejection happens through anus. So, there are two openings. But there are some organisms where there is only one opening in the digestive system. So, ingestion of food also happens through that opening and ejection of undigested food also happens through the same opening. So, those kind of organisms are said to have an incomplete digestive system. So, there is a single opening which is used for both ingestion and ejection. So, ingestion is taking in food. So, this is taking in food. And what is ejection? Ejection is sending out undigested food. Right? So, both the things will happen through the same opening. One example of such organism is platyhelminths. So, in platyhelminths, that is the flat worms, they have an incomplete digestive system. That means, even though they, are, they have some vague system which performs the function of digestion, but it is not complete. They do not have a mouth and an anus separately. They just have one mouth which we can, you can see here. So here you can see this opening. So this is the mouth. So the food is taken in from here and the food and the undigested food is thrown out from the same opening. So that, that this kind of digestive system is known as incomplete digestive system. On the other hand, we have a complete digestive system which is similar to our digestive system where we have two openings. So a digestive cavity with two openings to the outside. One opening is used for ingestion, that is mouth, and the another opening is used for ejection, that is anus. So, example would be the human digestive system. So, this is your mouth, which helps in ingestion. And here you have your anus, which helps in ejection. When, whenever you are asked, what kind of digestive system a particular organism has, you can directly say whether it is a complete digestive system or it is an incomplete digestive system. Similarly, if you talk about the circulatory system, what is the circulatory system? The system which actually helps in circulating things throughout the body. So, what are the different uh, organs which are present in the circulatory system? You have heart, I am talking about human circulatory system. We have heart which acts as the pump of the circulatory system which helps in pumping blood throughout the body. Other than that, we have the blood vessels. We have the arteries and veins which helps in actually transporting things throughout the body. Now, this circulatory system again can be of two types. First is open circulatory system. Now, what do we mean by open circulatory system? 
here blood is pumped by heart in body cavities so here we do not have the concept of blood vessels like how in in case of our circulatory system we have the different blood, blood vessels like the arteries veins the capillaries they are the different blood vessels so you have some tube like structures inside which the blood flows so that is how the blood flows inside our body but there are certain organisms where you don't have those blood vessels at all you don't have those tube like structures so the blood is like present everywhere inside the body so all the organs present inside of your body is basically floating in blood so there are no pipe like structures inside which blood is flowing so blood vessels are completely absent blood is pumped by the heart in the body cavities so wherever in between the organs wherever the cavity is there wherever the space is there blood will be pumped to those places so here we see the presence of hemolymph what is hemolymph it is a fluid which is present in the uh, body cavities and the tissues of such organisms which functions as blood in some organisms whereas it functions as lymph in some other organisms for example in human body we have two different things one is blood one is fluid right so the blood flows through the different blood vessels and what is lymph that extra fluid which remains in between the body cavities in between the organs that that interstitial fluid is known as lymph so these are two different things in human beings and the distinction is maintained inside our body so blood doesn't mix with lymph lymph doesn't mix with blood right but in these kind of organisms where you have an open circulatory system you do since you do not have distinct blood vessels therefore there is a lot of mixing which happens inside so it is just like everywhere inside your body wherever there are gaps wherever there are cavities it is filled by blood so that blood gets mixed with the lymph as well so that fluid together is known as is given the name of hemolymph so what are the animals where you see these kind of circulatory system it is seen in mollusks and arthropods arthropods basically include all the insects cockroach mosquito grasshopper so they all come under this arthropods so they all have this kind of open circulatory system and the second one is closed circulatory system where we have distinct blood vessels present so here blood is enclosed in blood vessels they are the tube like structures and the flow of the blood throughout the body is also also happens in a very systematic way we have studied about the human circulatory system in class 10th so there i have taught you in detail that how the blood flow actually takes place inside our body so you already know how systematically that process actually takes place so this is an example of closed circulatory system so here also we have that interstitial fluid that means the fluid which is present in between the spaces of the organs and that fluid is given a separate name called lymph so the interstitial fluid is called lymph and lymph is very well separated from blood because it is it's very simple right because the blood blood is always enclosed inside those tube like structures so blood cannot come out of that and lymph always remains outside in the interstitial places so blood and lymph can never get mixed up so here there is no concept of hemolymph blood is pumped by heart through blood vessels and doesn't normally fill the body cavities that is also very obvious because when you have special tube like structures so those tubes will take the blood to the designated places it is not that once the blood is pumped by the heart it will just fill all the spaces it is not like that so basically there are two types of circulatory system open and closed in open you do not have blood vessels so it is like blood fills the entire body you feel as if that the organs are floating in blood whereas in closed circulatory system blood always flows through the blood vessels so they are confined to the blood vessels and blood and lymph do not get mixed up they remain separated so examples of closed circulatory system it is found in vertebrates it is found in all vertebrates and some invertebrates too for example you see it in human beings fishes reptiles amphibians everywhere you have closed circulatory system so these this was example of some organ systems which are different in different organisms in different types of organisms they their uh, basic structure or basic uh composition is quite different so we took these two examples of digestive system and circulatory system so what did we study 
in levels of organization what did we observe we observed that the organization of the body happens at many different levels the first level being the cell so body is made up of cell the fundamental unit of every living organism but then these cells with a common function can group together to form tissues these tissues in turn can group together to form organs so here you can see the first in the first step you see these are the animal cells these cells combine to form this tissue then this tissue will form organs so here this is the which organ is this it is nothing but the lungs these organs in turn can form the organ system so these lungs form the respiratory system and many such systems will together form the organism now in forming this organism only respiratory system will not help you need respiratory digestive circulatory you need all the systems to be there so when all the systems are there then you actually form an organism so it is a very much step by step process so that is why these are known as levels of organization now as your level increases the complexity also increases so when you talk about the cellular level it is just some aggregates of cells so things are quite simpler when compared to the organ system level where you have different systems performing functions in a different way so as your level increases the complexity involved also increases clear okay thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again